Welcome back to Sports Extra. At the prep level, sectional play getting underway for our local baseball and softball teams this week. The Apple Valley baseball team continues their postseason journey on Monday. And the Eagles do so without their biggest leader. Go, Benny. Go, go, go. Something about the beautiful game of baseball. Like a chess match. There we go, there we go. I was trying to think ahead of the other team, um, teaching the kids. It's not just baseball, you're teaching them about life. Come on now, boys, here we go. The Diamond has always been a second home for Apple Valley head coach Sam Furby. Here we go, here we go, Let's put it in play. He has such a great presence there, and he's just so welcoming. A dirt canvas filled with memories, joy, and teaching moments. Uh, baseball is a game of failure. Three out of ten, you're doing good. So life is that way. Life has up and down just like a baseball game. Coach Furpo has done a great job being a great leader for us. Hey, here we go, finish it. Leading by example, by leading from over the fence. I never suffer any back issues, and after an MRI, it shows that I had cancer. One, two, and three here, whatever's easiest, two down. But when I told the kid, I got emotional about it, and I felt like I was letting them down in a way, or letting down myself, um, and I took it really hard. Despite the cancer diagnosis, Furpo's wife, Gail, and friends reminded him about his love for the game. My first thought, wow, how am I going to do this? Hey, keep fighting, keep fighting. Um, being home was so boring. Uh, I said, no, I got to go to work and I got to go coach. Um, something that I enjoy. So I said, I'm coaching until I can't. Games away from sectional play beginning, that can't moment happened following this game against Lakeville North in May. Oh. A goodbye coming too soon because Furpo needed to begin a stem cell transplant that requires isolation to fight his battle outside the batter's box. He's going into isolation, so it, it's just it's just hard to see that because you know you can just see that he wants to be out here coaching. It's been tough not being here. I'm watching it on TV. You know we stream it. Assistant coaches have taken over head coaching duties for the remainder of the Eagles season go, as Furpo continues his battle. I have some great assistant coaches, yeah. Bill, yeah. Jay, and Henry. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Keeping the bases occupied until the beautiful game comes calling again Here we go. next spring. 100% I look at it every day, it's like, next year I'll be back. One year from now, I definitely see him there on the third baseline, still coaching. Right here, uh, I see myself working, still coaching, spending time with my kids. Come on, come on, come on, you gotta go hard, you gotta go hard, go hard. In Apple Valley. Here you go, 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 go. Will Hall, Care 11 Sports. We certainly send our thoughts and prayers to Coach Furpo and his family. Spoke with him earlier tonight. He's in great spirits as he continues to watch the team from afar. Started his stem cell transplant this week. Doctors wow. will have more results in 30 days with his blood work and how it's handling that treatment. As for the team, they finished the regular season 6-12 and overall and begin sectional play on Monday on the road at Rosemount.